None of you. What am I doing here? Alright, I gotta make a choice, don't I? I can do Dutch scheme. But I've gotta do the eagle thing. Apparently the doctor window is not available yep. after the one time. Oh. What did you hit? <laughs> ah, Sparrow. Sparrow. I, what? I didn't think you killed birds just like that. There's yep. sparrows. Apparently the horse can kill everything I can't. <laughs> I didn't even know there was him on there. What's this? You fellas oh, doing Someone drills? What you looking at? Shot that I can't mess with. Well, at least talk to him. Didn't give me no money, but. Yep. They get to make good target practice. Where are they then? I got two out of five. So rolls are going to be what? The stores or something? There's not many places around there, so. If I pass one, yeah. I'll pick it up. Tear it down. That way it helped them out, I guess. Did you, did it ever unlock? Nobody there's a railroad there, so. Apparently, there's still a map in this places, even though the railroad only goes so far. So I gotta discover all of that eventually. We need a lot of riding and being nosy. Jump on the wagon. It's not the time nor the place. Yeah. Apparently, we keep going back to where we came from. If I remember correctly, yep, just right here was one area. The horse. Yep, right here.
Train goes over, apparently. I wonder what will be quicker, the train or the fast travel? I might have to do a spare meal one time. Eventually. Thing of the coyote. Ah, there, mister. Keep your damn self. You're going way up in the mountains. Hmm. Bunny rabbit. Hard to do like that, just I could run off a cliff or something. Hello. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, oh. Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. I made it. Oh. 
Open to the right wagon. I ain't sure which one's been easier. the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Tom, mm. I hope we get out of here. <laughs> Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. <laughs> Danbury. Yes? I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice <laughs> floor as this. It's here. Let's Give it to me. He just had to go with the car. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. <sighs> really? <sighs> Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again.
you're going to die. I'm just aiming where I can. Oh, you have my good. Being followed, look like. They're coming after us. You won't make it out alive. You want a bet? I don't kill horses, but I don't have to. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. Heard he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. <clears throat> you saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. <laughs> Here's your money. Thank you. So the oil company is going to be bad at me now. Yeah. Oh, now I can go see the doctor, you're saying. Might as well, I guess. So I got to go to... And then Berg. And then there's what this one. That's a new one. We learn things every day, don't we? yawning and everything. Edinburgh, right on top. It's a drowsy day. Excuse me. I wish it was five in the morning. I'd be asleep still. <laughs> I think. No, I wasn't asleep in the morning five. <sighs> Look out! Y'all some pretty horses. Coco, you ain't in heat, are you? I hope not. I gotta watch out for them studs around you. Yeah. I don't think 
you need any Colts right now. There's a house. And a whale with a guard on it. I wonder who lives there. Nobody for a while, they're like. Nice little cabin. There, that's uh, the whale guard. Okay, my dear. Yeah. A nice country, though. I'll give it that. Something down there got hurt. Or someone's mad one. That was loud. Not the good kind of loud either. It's like a tree cracking. Yeah. That's never a good sign. You're going to the woods, dark clouds. We're going somewhere haunted. We got to worry about Casper and his friends. <laughs> Turkey. I have yet to get a turkey. Whoa. No, I didn't want that. This is legendary. Inspect. He's a big boy, I'll give him that. It must have been that white one. Damn rain. Apparently we're hunting animals now. Maybe get more dropping. No oh, fur. Colored fur. Uh, I think I see the bath. No, I need the bow, I think. Unless I'm gonna kill him with this.
Oh, right at the end. Whoa, hello. That's a big moose. Find all moose of that. No wonder it took so long to get down. Bolt rifle should have got it good, but it didn't. Oh, we're getting the horns? Yeah, that green. To the fence, to craft the pick. Alright. Am I not supposed to pick up the rest of them? Come here, girl. I don't want to leave the anything behind if I don't have to. Uh, you are a big one. I think I got everything I can from you, though, didn't I? Well, that's two legendaries I got. The bear and the... And those two bears running. Hey, I just got done taking care of a moose. I ain't doing with y'all right now. We close or something? Oh, yeah, the king moose. So the moose is marked out. Wherever the bear was, it's marked out to the end. Which was... Uh, I don't know. Anymore. So I got the moose and I got the boar. <laughs> Apparently where I was going is right here. The lab. Apparently, no one's home. Either that or... The weather got too bad. Can you climb? Nope. It is timed, ain't it? So I gotta give this to... Where? I'm guessing you. I still don't remember where I got the bear from. I know it's not up here. There's a deer there, though. Oh, they actually got marks on there. There's a deer. I guess Cody or something. So, the rabbit. Well, I, the fox or the wolf. So... house fire I don't see where I got the bear 
But I also ain't looking on a map, so. Let's go back to camp, I guess. Or just leave it out. Noon, evening, or night. Whenever the guy pops back up, how that? Bad weather. It's always raining on this game lately. Feels like. Let me out of the tent. Um, what? No, not tear down. Uh, I need to, I guess, fast travel since he won't let me do otherwise. Um, where do I have it? Um, there's a town with a butcher in it, ain't there? There's a fishing thing. A bait shop. Oh. Professor. Catching a legendary, but I guess it's a good thing I did. A beaver dam. Andrew, another legendary? Really? If that's the case, what's in San Diego? Homes for the blind? I ain't sure you're blind. Apparently to you, there's an animal here somewhere in the legendary area. Unless it's a fish, I don't think so. But I haven't gone over here yet, so. The church. What the heck? That's a pineapple look like. Hmm. Oh, there's a fish. So there is fishes. And I gotta do, but it's not here. Huh. I learn something every time I play. I'll be coming to you in a little while, Professor. Keep walking, we don't want it to get destroyed. Either my horse is tired. Oh, that's that, yeah. Give her some hay. 
I'm gonna get rid of this before it gets damaged. You don't have to like Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. Money. Uh, girl, where are you going? We hit you up then. Jared can now use legendary health. Help. Hey so I could have gave it to. I might have just messed up. I, could, I think I could have gave it to um. Look out! The uh guy at camp. It looked like. If I gave it to him, we could have used it for you something. Hmm. I don't think I can redo that either. Well, can't be helped. How do you do? of my most <laughs> you're going to be in a better place <laughs> stay calm I don't believe you deep and repent for you will be moved to a better realm ladies and gentlemen behold the calm <laughs> removal of this man's existence None of power. In incredible! He's nearly dead. So humane. You need more power. <laughs> Troubled, but his passing is um, peaceful. It's torture. Somebody shoot me, please. Oh. You know, don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Huh. They're both dead. <laughs> Who moved my horse? You know, my man shot people over for less. So I'm guessing one of these pawns. Oh, there's the bear. The bear and the moose next door. No wonder I didn't see it. I was looking the wrong way. Maybe. 
Uh, you stay there, girl. Oh, there's stairs here. All right. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Hmm. Um, you won't have seen the like of it before. I think. Hello, mister. That it's Greek. Modern for my taste. Well now, look at these. If you're under 18, look away. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Could you <laughs> paint some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are, sure? are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Well, why would you be shown it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Your Stop mama? looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking <laughs> at my mama. Well, maybe yeah. she shouldn't expose herself like this. Your mama's this still very young. The nerve on you. Yeah. That's it. Oh, come on, Mildred. No. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. bitch. <laughs> you filthy little man. Oh, oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Uh huh. Allez, allez, vite. I wait on you. This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. <laughs> that, it was not. Idiot. People push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. All right, then. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hello. They're all having problems. Hello. Hello. My good girl. Yeah, I don't think there's an animal here to be hunted. That's discounting. There's a fish over here. I guess I gotta go talk to him. 
Let's go deal with Dutch then, shall we? So I really need it. So if I ever do this again, I need to. Make sure I give the animals I hunt to the camp as I go. There is no way he would have gone back to calm of his own volition. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some cock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <clears throat> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. Oh. We are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, oh, really? and you all will. Now remember, we just want else. money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. F, leave these fine folks of their valuable. Mr. F, pick that room back there. I got this one. Stop. Dying. It's your choice. Go with him. I said, open the gate and let my you acquaintance. You need to give me yes. all your money. Of course. Now. Of course, of course. Just take it. All right. There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! They're like, what? There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's right. Yeah. Son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are you going to do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Oh, Ladies no. Gentlemen. Uh oh. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Yeah. All right, shoot us some steak, boys. We got more on the right. What's those side alleys, Arthur? We got some on the balcony, too. We got some riders on the left. Arthur, help Lenny out there. Need you on the left now, Arthur. Come on. Slow down. Slow this thing down. I'll try. The thing's broke. Hold on! 
Oh, we ain't making no turn. I command you right now.
No, but it's working. Their bounty to pay off, don't I? Damn! They blocked the wall! Hold on! Use this! Uh. Oh, Contact free fire! You see any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Hmm. There's gonna be one heck of a bounty back there. <laughs> I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He <laughs> set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Especially after that! I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. True. Wanted now, so I got a woo $165,000 bond bounty for this area. So if I were to go to like Valentine and pay it off, uh, well, I no, uh, you can smoke, sugar, eat food, and drink coffee and, or an alcohol, and you were fully dead. I so I emptied my dead eye. Uh, Dutch is in camp. And I'm way over here. Yeah. 
this theme. Uh, hope. Go to Valentine and get the bounty off me real quick. Apparently, it won't let me do nothing until I do. You won't let me tell me where I gotta go. I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. <laughs> We're going to have proof of you do or die. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Ready? Aim. Fire. <laughs> you got mine, and I bet good shot. <laughs> yeah, both the her now. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. Uh -huh. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. And it's getting dark, too. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. Nothing to fear at all. Yes. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. And this time I feel like you're naming a head. Birds are fully formed from the swamps. Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. Ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I failed. He kept moving, though. Restart. So I gotta shoot one or the other. They care at all. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have excellent fine shooting. Over here, 
Hold still. Thank you. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Men do crazy things, apparently. It didn't come from nowhere bad. You hear about the massacre? Be seeing you. I knew a fellow who worked there for a while. Terrible business. Okay. Now then. I gotta go. I'm a good distance away, but. Shady Bale. Is what it's called. Hey, girl. Let's see what I can donate. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. This should be some real good eating. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Morning, <laughs> Arthur. Arthur! You all right, Reverend? Just trying to make sense of this. I'm scared. We'll be all right. 
You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, O'Driscoll's, Pinkerton's. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. How are you? Doing well. Good for you. I hear snoring. Time to get some rest. New night, evening. Get Thirteen hours of sleep. Join him. Uh, I need some ammo. No. Uh, can I use some cover arrows? High voltage. Velocity. My bad. you get the deciding vote. Oh uh, what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the mm. last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Hmm. I hope so. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp, catch him mm. off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Ah. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in Saint Denis in his back pocket. 
He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I mm. know, but, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Oh? <laughs> Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. <laughs> Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. He lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Hmm. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Keep a lookout for company. We'll start. Check the traps with me. Forget your trap. It's on that layer. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going out to Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. <laughs> stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better.
crawfish. You shouldn't be lingering here. Come on. I'm coming. I'm just a crazy person. Whoa, hello. I ain't this crazy. Is the water cuts my shoulder? I ain't going in. I can't see through it. Whoa. Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you Uh, no problem. I don't want to play with the swamp puppy. Trapped by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Oh, yeah. What? Apparently, my horse is somewhere. The four foot. Uh, back in deep water. Stuck in the mud. It happens. Alright. Woo. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. <laughs> All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. One, two, three. That ain't normal. I'm a little, oh, that's a bird. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Oh, crocodile and gator is good. I enjoy it. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Get me out of dang water. That's all I gotta say. I can't see my feet. No. Jules. Hey, someone there. Yeah. Get me out of the water for a moment. I believe I see him. Jules. Hey, someone there in the tree. That must be him. Uh. Hey, you in the tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. 
You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Skipping. Got it loose. Go. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry. Ooh. Oh boy. I think uh, we hit a tree stump. No. Be clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull! Come on, put your back into it! Jules? Um, huh? You won't kill? No, I'm going in! No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick! Quick, Arthur! <laughs> Won't let me get I'm coming. Uh, give me my gun. This son of a gun. Put in his hand early, he's like, no. I 
think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, so that's the white gator. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay if you don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Go. Uh, I need something bigger Sorry, than what Jules. I got. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my god. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? Just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Yeah, that was a big gator. And I was putting lead in him, too. So, what the heck? So now we got a gator. Somewhere. Hmm. They should show a picture of him. I would think. Apparently not. I got a mail. <laughs> so I can come back in here and there now if I want to. But, oh, Dutch was here. So the gator. Is in this zone, I'm guessing. I guess I just left the camp up.
Oh. That was a big angry swamp puppy. Mm, do I look low? Slow? Arthur, you're nosy. Be with you momentarily. Hello again. Something to miss? Morning, friend. Thanks. Happy to assist you in a moment. You already did. That's it. Dutch is over here. And this area will be. But I ain't gonna do it this time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see how much I got we got done. Forty six point eight. Hmm. I'll be born by that, but all right. Let me get in here, folks. I hope y'all liked it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and we'll see y'all next time. Wolf lovers out. Bye.